Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you how to add brightness or presence to a track without boosting a typical high frequency using an EQ. By trying these methods, you may find they are beneficial when you want to add some top end or brightness to a track that yield a different flavor or end result instead of a traditional treble boost. This is not intended to replace using a high frequency boost with your favorite EQ, simply a few methods you might want to try. I will use a bass track to demonstrate these methods. Here is how the bass track sounds soloed. Here it is with the rest of the track. The first method is a popular style of EQing called subtractive EQ. For this, I am using the Pro EQ in Studio One. The concept is, if you want something brighter, then cut some low in instead of boosting the top in. If you want more low in, then cut some top in instead of adding low in. Some people think this is a better way of EQing than boosting. I think it's a different way that I do often prefer to boosting. You can see I used a low frequency shelf cutting at around 210 hertz and I also cut around 340 hertz with the wide Q. This will lower the volume of the track so I increase the output gain of the plug-in to compensate. Let's A-B and see how this affects the top end. Next, I will use the UAD Trident A range plugin. With this plugin, I'm only using the 100 Hz high pass filter and adding some output gain to make up for the level loss. Let's AB the UAD Trident A range and see how it affects the top end. The next example is using the Boz Digital Labs T-Bone. This is a tilt EQ. The concept of tilt EQ is if you turn the slant to boost bottom, it attenuates top and vice versa. More bottom, less top. More top, less bottom. Let's AB the T-Bone and see how it affects the top end. Next is the Mog Audio EQ4. This EQ has an air band that I'm going to use. This is a great way to add presence to a track by adding very high top end. I have it set at the highest setting, 40 kilohertz. I am boosting top end using the EQ4's air band, but it is an extreme top end, much higher than any frequency you would normally boost to add brightness, so I think this could be considered a different approach than a typical EQ boost. Let's AB the EQ4 and listen for a difference in brightness. Next, I'm using Sound Toys Decapitator. I'm pushing the drive to add distortion and harmonics. Let's AB the Decapitator. Next is Slate's Revival module, which is included in the Virtual Mix Rack. This is a free plugin available from Slate. It has two controls, Shimmer, which adds top end, and Thickness, which adds bottom. So to add brightness, I am only adding Shimmer. Let's AB Revival.
Next is Wave's Aphex Vintage Oral Exciter. Let's A-B the Aphex. I hope you enjoyed this video and it showed you new ways to add brightness to a track. Now go make some great music.